the Mad Dog is quite an interesting short because of the topic that it deals with. I never thought Disney would go this dark um, because Pluto allegedly has rabies. Technically he doesn't, but not everybody is aware of that in the short. I thought it was a pretty interesting subject matter to tackle, but they did it in an entertaining enough way. The Mad Dog was originally released in 1932, directed by Burt Chillett. Obviously, Disney in the 30s took a lot more risks. Their subject matter was not always as child-friendly as it is today, to say the very least. And in this short, Mickey is giving Pluto a bath. Pluto doesn't want a bath. He accidentally gets a lot of soap in his mouth and swallows soap and begins, of course, frothing at the mouth as the soap bubbles up. He doesn't want to have a bath, so he runs out of the house and begins to run around everywhere. And everybody who sees him suspects that he has rabies, as you would. He is frothing at the mouth. When Pete the dog catcher comes along, it looks like Pluto is going to be getting taken away to the pound. But there's a very heartfelt moment with Mickey and Pluto, and I'm not going to say how it ends or what happens. But it was interesting enough. Um, I do think the whole Pluto having rabies is something that could scar a lot of children. It's a very disturbing mental image. Although, to be fair, I guess if a young child is watching this, they might not actually pick up on the fact that it's representing rabies. They could just think of, think of it as Pluto being a dog who has run out of his bath and is making soap bubbles out of his mouth. It's sweet in some ways because Mickey obviously loves Pluto. It's disturbing in other ways because it's a weird mental image. It's a, you know, pretty decently animated, of course. A very good short for the 1930s. Not my favourite, a little bit disturbing, but if you're a Disney fan, it's one that's still definitely worth watching.